Hello, everybody. Right, first of all, I need to make a revision of showing agreement because in the previous le uh, lesson, um, I introduced you to the uh, agreement point. So remember, in positive statements, to show agreement, we use two, actually. The example given here most probably will make you remember this. They have a pet lion at home, they have a tiger too. So when we agree with a positive statement in the shortest tense, we use two to express it. In negative statements, when we agree with negative statements, this time we use either. Like in the example given here, they don't keep wild animals at home. They don't keep pets either. There are five sentences for you to just remember what we have just done. So can you place either two or either um, by agreeing with the first, first statements here, please? My aunt lives in Holland. My sister lives there. Both are active statements. I mean to say, um, they are both positive statements. My son doesn't like fish. My sisters don't. The first one is a negative statement. The second one is another negative statement. We need to show agreement again. You aren't old enough to get married. Your boyfriend isn't. Blah, blah. I haven't got a car of my own. I haven't, blah, blah. I did my homework. My brother did, blah, blah. Let's see the answers. My aunt lives in Holland. My sisters, my sister, I'm sorry. My sister lives there too. My son doesn't like fish. My sisters don't either. You aren't old enough to get married. Your boyfriend isn't either. I haven't got a car of my own. I haven't either. And finally, I did my homework. My brother did too. Yeah. Um, showing agreements this time, it is a little bit different. Remember, the structure, the form is different. The example says, I went to bed early last night, and so did my parents, remember? After so, we need to use the correct auxiliary or helping verb of the past tense, because the first statement here is a past tense. And in the past tense, we use did as an auxiliary verb. So, so did my parents. In negative statements, when we want to show agreements again, we have to pay attention to the tense and also to the helping verb as well. I haven't finished my project yet. It is a present perfect statement and the auxiliary here is half, okay? I haven't finished my project yet, nor has Omar, okay? As known, nor and neither, okay, show a negativity. Use so or neither, paying extra attention to the information in bold. Keep in mind that all the statements here show agreements. So 
I can give, I can forgive her if she comes to visit me more often. Can you just agree, please? I'm going to Madison this weekend. So I agree with it again. I didn't pay the rent because of the coronavirus pandemic. Mm -hmm. We can't afford a new car now. Mm -hmm. Because we have, we have spent all our money on the mountain house we have just bought. Let's see the answers here. I can forgive her if she comes to visit me more often. So can I. I'm going to mention this weekend. So am I. I didn't pay the rent because of the coronavirus pandemic. Neither did I, or nor did I. We can't afford a new car now, nor can we. Because we have spent all our money on the mountain house we have just bought. This time, we are going to show disagreement. What I mean to say is that we are going to disagree with the statements that will be given to us. Well, how are we going to disagree uh, with positive statements? Have a look at the first example. They have a pet lion at home. We don't pay attention to the given first note. It says, when showing disagreement with positive statements, we need to use the negative form of the auxiliary verb in the relevant, relevant tense. Okay, and here, this is a present simple statement. And in the present simple, our uh, auxiliary verb is either do or does. And for we, it is do. Because this is positive, in order to show this agreement, we have to use the correct form of course, the negative form of the auxiliary, we don't. Number three, exercise number three. Disagree with the given statements below. You need to disagree with them. I like hamburgers. Be careful. This is very important because it gives you a very good piece of explanation. I hated rock music when I was a little boy, actually. See? On the contrary, I was mad at it. I used to cry a lot after my mother as a little kid. Blah, blah. Because my eldest sister was always there to look after me. I had to show everything in my bag at the customs because no one asks for such a thing. Carol and Jack can afford the holiday abroad because I've gone bankrupt because of the crisis. Actually, it gives a very good clue here. We must study hard for the approaching English exam. I blah, blah, because I know everything very well. If I know everything very well, do I have to study? Must I study hard for the exam? My father didn't have to go to work all through the week. Mine, blah, blah, as there were too many patients needing help. So most probably my father was a kind of doctor or nurse working in the field of health. 
Let's have a look at the key right now. I mean, uh, don't forget that we need to disagree with the given statements. I like hamburgers. It is a present simple sentence. And in the present simple, the auxiliary verb is do or does. I like hamburgers. I do. And because it should be negative, we say I don't. I like hamburgers, I don't. Why, negative, why I don't? Because I don't understand how you can do so. Let's have a look at it once more. I like hamburgers, I don't. Actually, I don't understand how you can eat hamburgers. Two, I hated rock music when I was a little boy, actually. I didn't. On the contrary. I was mad at it. I liked it so much, I mean to say. I used to cry a lot after my mother as a little kid. I didn't, because my eldest sister was always there to look after me. I didn't need my mother. I had to show everything in my bag at the customs. I didn't. I didn't have to do it because no one asked for such a thing. Most probably you were unlucky. Carol and Jack can't afford a holiday abroad. Pardon me. Carol and Jack can afford a holiday abroad. I can't because I've gone bankrupt because of the crisis. I've lost all my money. That's why I can't. We must study hard for the approaching English exam. I needn't, because I know everything very well. My father didn't have to go to work all through the week. Mine did, because there were too many patients needing help. We go on showing um, disagreement, people, but this time, with negative statements. Have a look at the example, please. They don't have a pet, pet lion at home. We do. So when showing this agreement with negative statements, we need to use the positive form of the auxiliary verb. Of course, in the relevant tense. Let's have a look at the exercises and you try to disagree with the given statements. Remember, somebody says to you, I don't like hamburgers and you are going to disagree with this person, okay? Since this is a present simple in the negative form, you have to use the positive form of the helping verb in the present simple. The same is valid for the second one. I won't go to that rock concert at the university. You disagree with it. And it says here, I won't go. The auxiliary is will not. So you are going to disagree with this will not. Number three, I never used to cry after my mother as a little kid. Disagree with it, please. And here you have the key. I don't like hamburgers, I do. They are always so delicious. I won't go to that rock concert at the university. I will. I'm so crazy about it. I never used to cry after my mother as a little kid. I did because I felt so safe when she was with me, when my mother was with me. Exercise number five. So this is a kind of mixture right now. 
disagree or agree with the given statements below, paying attention to the information provided. Okay? So you will decide whether you agree or disagree with the statement. And of course, you have to use the correct structure here. It says, I would like to visit the Greek islands next week. Me, blah, blah. And then you say, I have heard they are very interesting. So it sounds to me that you need to agree with that positive statement you are going to agree with a positive statement i would like to visit the greek islands next week so you're going to agree with it again but this time you are going to use a different structure the third one says, I would like to visit the Greek islands next week. Have a look at the clue here. I have heard they are very disgusting. What's more, they are very expensive too. So you're going to disagree with this statement. And have a look at it. I mean, can you see the auxiliary verb here so you are going to make use of it when showing this agreement let's have a look at the answers i would like to visit the greek islands next week me too i too i've heard they're very interesting i would like to visit the greek islands next week so would I. I've heard they are very interesting. So when agreeing with positive statements, we have two alternatives. One goes like me too, I too. The other goes so auxiliary subject. Number three, I would like to visit the Greek islands next week. I wouldn't, you know why? Because I have heard they are very disgusting. What's more, they are very expensive too. So why should I go there? Question number four. My mom can't stand techno music. Mine blah, blah. She believes it's not music at all. So this is a negative statement, and this, in a way, assures this. So you're going to agree with the negative statement. My mom can't stand techno music. So she believes it's not music at all. So you are going to disagree. You are going to agree with it again. Okay, they are in the same way, but structurally, they need to differ. Number six, I never drink another drop of alcohol in my life. Blah, blah, blah. It is still making, making me feel terrible. I don't think I can make it home on my own. So you are going to agree with a negative statement here, huh? Because it says, it is still making me feel terrible. I don't think I can make it home on my own. So you regret um, in, uh, drinking alcohol. Number seven, I never drink another drop of alcohol in my life. I blah, blah. It is making me, it is making me so full of life and relaxed. So you're going to disagree with that this time, right? Let's see the answers here. My mom can't stand techno music. Mine either. My mother either. She believes it's not music at all. My mom can't stand techno music. 
in sentence number five. Neither can mine. She believes it's not music at all. Six says, I'll never drink another drop of alcohol in my life. Neither will I. It is still making me feel terrible. I don't think I can make it home on my own. In the second, this time, you have to disagree with the first, first statement, which is negative. I'll never drink another drop of alcohol in my life. I will. Why? Because it is making me so full of life and relaxed. Question number eight says, Alice isn't going to pass the course. Mm -hmm. I know how hard she has studied. So you will contradict, you will disagree with the negative statements about. I'm going out with the band tonight. Disagree with them because you say, because I don't want to have problems anymore. Most probably each time you go out with your band, okay, you have problems. And this time you don't want to have any problems anymore. Tin says, surely must stay indoors during the quarantine. Blah, blah, Charles. Because he's been with her since the beginning. Agree with it, please. Eleven. Shirley must stay indoors during the quarantine as she is infected. Okay. Charles, blah, blah, because he isn't infected. Otherwise, he will get the infection too. Let's see the answer. Alice isn't going to pass the course. And you say, you disagree with it. She is. I know how hard she has studied. I'm going out with the band tonight. I'm not. Because I don't want to have problems anymore. Tin says, Shirley must stay indoors during the quarantine. So must Charles. He has been with her since the beginning because. And finally, Shirley must stay indoors during the quarantine as she is infected. Charles or Jack must not because he isn't infected. Otherwise, he will get the infection too. People, thanks for listening to me.